Hello, everyone. Today we are diving into the STOP team. We are thinking together about what makes or breaks a project. Not just a project or an idea, it grows into an organization or startup or maybe also a family. What do we need to think about? Well, first of all, for me, it's always about the why. Why do we even need to think about working in a team? Um, I'm sure there's you know, so many um, problems or tasks that we have that we can still solve alone. But the reality is actually that the majority of our problems are too big and too complex that we can uh, even try to think about solving them alone. As a one person team, you're, you're just lost on your way. Um, if you want to have a bigger impact, and uh, that's what um, what's driving many, many, many of us to have a bigger impact on our societies, it's the only way to build an organization or a company that can scale a solution uh, to many people. Statistically, um, you know, it's always about what, what are actually the success factors uh, that you should look at in terms of how do you succeed. And um, that's the result here, your competencies, your abilities and your personalities uh, that allow you to uh, come together as a team, uh, they are more important than the idea itself. Good to know. Um, so what are the questions that we need to ask um, whenever you are in need of working with other people to, uh, to, to grow an idea that you have in your mind? I call this part the questions you can't escape. And these are the questions that other people will ask you if that is people you are trying to convince to come on board uh, into your team or venture capitalists or any kind of other um, uh, people who would like to invest in you or who you are you know, asking for money that you need uh, to, uh, to grow your idea. So of course, the very first one is who are you? Um, not that simple. I mean, who are you in relation to that idea? And um, um, what's your motivation? Uh, why are you doing what you are doing? Who are your team members? Who are the other people on your, uh, on your side? Um, how do they connect to you? What, what's the glue between you all? And um, what makes you think that you, exactly the people you are presenting, that you can actually get this done. It looks uh, simple, four simple questions. You should be able to do that. But now here's the, the thing. To be able to present your dream team and yourself in a way that is very easy for people to understand in a short amount of time, not just for people to understand actually, but for, for people to remember. Um, you want people that have listened to your presentations to remember what you've told them. And um, that takes a lot, uh, a lot of attention and motivation and willingness, and also the ability to keep uh, this information in our brains. So that's why I started to use the iceberg as a symbol of what it actually um, um, is the challenge that we're up against. So there's these 80% that are actually under the water level. It's all about our personalities and beliefs and habits and interests and emotions, all this fluffy stuff and the experiences that we have had and the skills we have, you know, all these things make, make us, us as a person. Um, they mold us into the human beings we are. Um, and we need to know ourselves and our team members uh, in such a way that we can present ourselves and we can find that um, puzzle pieces that mold us together as a team and present ourselves in that way. So um, we need to dive into the um, depths of the water to be able to present our dream team in a clear and memorable way. That's why we are talking about this topic. So you will really need to uh, 
have the courage to dive into the hidden stuff, the unconscious stuff, the stuff that's not visible uh, in an easy way, that's not transparent and not in public. That means uncomfortable conversation possibly. It means being open to share something with others that they in no way can find out themselves. Um, it takes courage to go there and to connect with the people on your team on a deeper level. Thank you, that's our motivation. That's um, what's driving us to, to dive into this topic. And um, the questions that you can always feel free to ask here are the questions you need to ask each other. You know, the questions that maybe are beyond these four questions um, that nobody can avoid. What are your questions? What are the questions you want to ask your team members? See you in the next part.